Good morning, everybody, and thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to chat about rail trails this morning. So what is a rail trail? A rail trail is a disused, no longer needed railway line that gets repurposed into a linear park. So the principle is that everybody can access the rail trail. In Australia, there are about 100 rail trails. Funding for these trails to remove the rail infrastructure and lay down a pathway generally comes from government grants. Uh, in Victoria, for example, in 2009, we had terrible bushfires and the federal government grant um, allowed the production of the Great Victorian Rail Trail, 134 kilometres from near Seymour to near Mans to Mansfield in the Victorian High Country. This is a very popular trail used by a lot of people and given great benefit to the local uh, towns where, of course, accommodation, food and drink is, uh, is purchased along the way by the rail trail users. After many years of advocacy, the Tumbarumba to Rosewood Rail Trail was finally opened uh, early last year. Unfortunately, this coincided with the coronavirus pandemic uh, so there was no formal opening ceremony. However, what we observed with this rail trail is that because it was new and fresh, it was very, very well used and has given tremendous stimulus to the local economy. A number of cafes have opened in Rosewood, um, as well as Tumbarumba, and the accommodation in the region is uh, generally heavily, heavily booked out as opposed to pre-rail uh, pre trail. Usage of the rail trails, of course, in a car-free, safe environment, uh, doing physical activity is fantastic for people's mental and physical health. As a GP, I know that all chronic disease is treated uh, much better when people are more physically active uh, and enjoying the great outdoors. Uh, Tumbarumba, of course, was affected by the bushfires this year as well, not just the pandemic. A long established trail the Warburton Rail Trail is on the outskirts of Melbourne. It's 40 kilometres long and has been uh, developed over the past 30 or so years. It's very popular, over 250,000 users a year, apparently. Uh, the extension to the Warburton Trail is now the Yarra Valley Trail. Lilydale to Yering, only seven or eight k's long, also opened in March of this year, of last year. Uh, it's been substantially uh, used, very, very popular, and has already br brought ex uh, an additional cafe and uh, lots of use of the uh, facilities at Coldstream at its current terminus. Very popular, very good for the economy of the region. So who uses the rail trails? Rail trails are used by everybody. Their grades are slight and so available for all users. Families in particular are very fond of the rail trails being safe, away from cars, in, a, in their own corridor to explore uh, the, the countryside. Seniors use a, a lot of uh, seniors use the rail trails. Likewise, um, adults getting together for parties and functions and what have you uh, as multi-day journeys or just as a short trip on the rail trail to enjoy the experience. Uh, as they're, as they're travelling through the countryside. Increased use, of course, brings economic benefit to the areas. The Brisbane Valley Rail Trail has recently just been completed and upgraded, and the publican at Linville, one of the towns along the way, uh, is absolutely uh, ecstatic about the increased usage, has put on extra staff, and is developing further uh, the, the, the pub itself is having renovations because of the, the success of the rail trail um, users at her, uh, at her bar, at her establishment. There are still many rail trails to be built in Australia. There are many to be polished, to be improved, um, and many that are in the development stage. By far the most exciting one that, uh, that's coming at the moment is in the northern rivers of New South Wales uh, through the Mwilumbar, Byron Bay, Casino, Lismore area. There are uh, airports and railway stations at both ends of the trail. Um, it goes through beautiful towns, seaside beaches, already established tourism facilities, as well as Heritage National Park. 
thank you all very much for having me this morning. Uh, I hope I've given a little bit of uh, understanding of the benefit of rail trails, both physically to people's uh, uh, health, as well as to the economy of the region uh, that they happen to reside. Thank you so much for your time.